Well, blessed morning, y'all. That is 8-11 here, and it is February 27th, 2023. Tomorrow, God willing, Cubby's going to be 11 years old, y'all. When we was at Golden Crowd, we were greasing yesterday. And uh, my favorite, absolute favorite server in the whole place. And I want to tell you right here, our, our Golden Crowd here in Lawton, Oklahoma, every one of them waitresses and waiters, they're all good. But Marquise, he's my favorite, man. He's a black dude. He has the coolest hair ever, and just the way that he carries himself, great demeanor. He's got a voice that is just very comfortable, very soothing, and he'll make sure he's going to take good care of you. He's going to take the dirty plates off the table, refill your drinks. He doesn't have to be told. Um, he's awesome, but like I said, they're all good there. But he has the same birthday as Cub, and they did the fist bump thing, and Marky, he took good care of us and my mother-in-law. Took my mother-in-law to go grease after church yesterday. Excellent service. Feels good to return home to Lighthouse Pentecostal Church. I went there for seven years, and seven, seven is a number of completion. Eight is a new beginning. And in that eighth year, y'all, that's when I started going to Washtenaw Full Gospel, and I was captured. And I ended up becoming a cross bearer, which I still do to this day, and a deacon. I took care of the monies and I lived the life of a deacon and I still live the life of a deacon even though I'm no longer a deacon but I can always be counted on for money and sometimes man I will help the people go and count the money and you know because you want to have more than one count the money so no one can say anything and then they're gonna write they're gonna put it down on a record and no one can hold that against you I'm stealing money we're not doing some Joel Osteen action putting a couple of thousands in the walls and then acting dumb when the IRS shows up or whoever. <laughs> we just try to eat a McDonald's, not have a Lear jet. <laughs> okay, February 27. This is a Sarah Young lesson, real good one. Don't boast about tomorrow because you do not know what today holds. Keep your eyes on me. Waves of adversity are washing over you and you feel tempted to give up. As your circumstances consume more and more of your attention, you are losing sight of me. Yet, I am always with you, holding you by your right hand. <clears throat> I am fully aware of your situation, and I will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able to bear. Your gravest danger is worrying about tomorrow. If you try to carry tomorrow's burdens today, you will stagger under the load and eventually fall flat. You must discipline yourself to live within the boundaries of today. It is in the present moment that I walk close to you, helping you carry your burdens. Keep your focus on my presence in the present. Keep your focus on my presence in the present. <laughs> that is great. What I have for a note is he will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you're attempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. And how true that is. Always choose salvation over temptation. That is the battle of our spirit and our flesh. And all of us, we fall short of that every day in one way or another. And just keep on keeping on his mind and fire test purity of your heart and know that your heart is undefiled or defiled, but when you give it to him, it's undefiled because he cleanses it and he gives it back to you. And it's been known as a heart of flesh. But when that heart of flesh is given to you by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, you have him as a host right here in the temple of your heart and you got everything that you need. And what is in your heart is what's going to come out of your mouth. Do you have the treasury of evil or treasury of good? If you have the Lord, you have a treasury that comes against iniquity and will help you see every demon that the devil throws your way to throw your day off, to spiral you down. And he's to the point to where if he can't have you, he's going to come after your family. But you will know to protect them as well from all the powers of hell. Be blessed today in your iron journey.